Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, that security row keeps on rumbling. But what's happened this time? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Lovely day, isn't it, today? Hope you're having a nice day wherever you are. And as ever, thank you so much for taking the time out to support me on this channel. It's nice that I have your company. I hope that you enjoy my company as much as I enjoy yours watching. Love all the comments below. Love to know exactly as well what the weather's like. We're obsessed, aren't we? What the weather's like wherever you are. And thank you also for commenting so kindly on some of the more recent videos, particularly St. Patrick's Day. We should all celebrate our days as I've said and of course recently about the uh, award-winning actor Benedict Cumberbatch who's aiming to house a refugee see how that goes yeah but back as ever to your breaking roll story of the day as we now know way back oh, a couple of months back now Prince Harry Meghan Markle stated that London was dangerous oh yes I'm sure the current uh, London Mayor Sadiq Khan was thrilled to hear that as he was trying to get people back out from the pandemic into our wonderful capital city but it all turns out that according to Prince Harry he's rather nervous about returning here because he's not sure of the reception I think you could find that reception and how you're going to be welcomed by simply checking out some social media and more importantly the mainstream media but back as ever really as to how this has uh, sort of kicked off and here's why as we now know Prince Harry has basically said he cannot attend the forthcoming memorial for his Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh Prince Philip because again he's having a row with Her Majesty's government the Met Police over whether they should pay for it or he's offering to pay we're not quite sure but either way it's come to a stumbling block but now this has erupted and it's all to do once again with Prince Harry's commercial ventures and I should say Meghan Markle's too as we know Prince Harry's busy making a documentary for Netflix which is due out we believe September this year all about the background to his involvement creation whatever for that wonderful charity Invictus Games but then it was highlighted well who's providing the security for that trip to the Netherlands well, it turns out that Prince Harry, of course, being paid by that channel, will have his own security provided for him, and as ever, we have to say, allegedly, by Netflix, the company. Now, this will be a co-production between Archwell and the Netflix giant. But, of course, all the other accruements like, you know, crew, uh, staff, travel, hotels, that sort of stuff, will be picked up by the outside production company. And so we believe that that will be security too. So you can see why the confusion for Prince Harry reigns, because he's now got his toe in both camps, for want of a better word. His ex-royal life, and more importantly, his now new commercial life, the one in which he needs to make money in order to survive and live in that mega, mega mansion. But for Harry and Meghan, whichever way they turn regarding a situation like this, it's simply bad form. The good mannered thing would be to simply turn up for the memorial, whether he comes solo or just with his children, or perhaps as a family unit. Either way, this rumbling battle about security and who pays for his is not only putting a stain on the Platinum Jubilee celebrations for our gracious Majesty the Queen, but more importantly, making Prince Harry, a once firm favourite of the royal family, look rather stupid. Neil Sean, Kensington Palace, London.